Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. In this video, we'll see how to use and how to install Eclipse IDE. Now, Eclipse is IDE you use basically use for Java. So whenever you work, when you talk about Java development or Android development, so people normally go you use Eclipse IDE. So there are different IDEs, right? We have uh, NetBeans, we have Eclipse, we have uh, IntelliJ, we have, we have we have lots of options. Now, as per industry standards, everyone uses Eclipse for the web development. In fact, if we talk about Android development, so uh, uh, Eclipse provides you some uh, libraries using which you can work on Android. So in order to uh, download Eclipse, what you can do is you can just go to Google and you can download Eclipse. So we can just type down Eclipse download. Now, before downloading Eclipse, you, you have to make sure you have a JDK installed in your system. So where you will find JDK, so you can just go to your uh, C drive and you have to go to program files there you will see a folder called java and in java so there should be ha you should have at least one jdk so make sure you have a, a, the latest version maybe 1.7 1.8 whichever available when you watch this video so you have first you, you need a jdk because when you talk about eclipse indirectly it will use uh, jdk to compile things so so once you uh, search Eclipse download on Google, it will show you an option. Now there are different Eclipse IDE for different different perspective. So we have a J Java EE perspective. We have for Java developers. Now since uh, you might be downloading downloading Eclipse for all different version like for uh, uh, for web development or for software development on console level or maybe for Android development, what you can simply download is Eclipse IDE for Java EE. Now if you click on Eclipse IDE for Java EE, uh, then it will open this Eclipse website where you can see it asking for the different types of formats. Since we are working with uh, Windows here and I'm using a 64-bit OS, I can simply click on 64-bit OS here. Or if you are working with Macintosh, so you can click on uh, any version we are, which you are working 32-bit or 64-bit or Linux. Now, uh, it has a different releases. So we have Luno, we have Kepler, we have Juno, we have Indigo. So Luno here is the latest one. So, so you can either download Luno or you can, Luna or it's, it's Luna and you can order and download Kepler. So let's uh, click on this uh, Windows 64 bit. Okay, now by default it's giving me Luna, which is a uh, latest version. Let me go with uh, Kepler. So let me click, click on Kepler. Okay, so in Kepler we have this 64 bit, this one, and here we can download a 64 bit OS, a 64 bit Eclipse, and we can click just on this download. Okay, so if you click on this download, okay, it will ask you for the uh, donation. So if you think Eclipse needs a donation you can donate some amount now uh, so it will it will it will start downloading right so it is around 250 mb so it will take depending upon your internet speed it will take some time so in this video we have seen how to download right but i have already downloaded in my system so it's there so this is the downloaded version here which is of around 250 mb now once you have downloaded the eclipse now what we need to do is so if you open, if you double click the Eclipse here, it will show there's a folder called as Eclipse here. So if I double click this, or if I open this Eclipse, you can see there are lots of folders and the most important thing we have to see here is Eclipse. Now Eclipse is not like a normal software where you have to install it. You can use Eclipse by just unzipping it. So we can just right click here and we'll say extract here. So it will, now it will extract the Eclipse here. Okay, and once you extract everything, if you open this folder after extraction, you just have to double click this uh, icon here. And once you double click, it will open Eclipse. And then you can write a code to test your Eclipse IDE. Cool. So this is how you have to download Eclipse and you have to unzip it. It's a plug and play software. You don't have to install it. So that is from this video. In the next video, we'll see how to open Eclipse and how to create your first project. 
So thank you so much for watching and do subscribe for further videos.